Hola, buenas tardes, o buenos días, o buenas noches. ¿Qué tal? We're here again, and we're on audio number five, um, or video number five, if you're watching on YouTube. And um, here we're dealing with verbs to build your vocabulary. Okay, so that when you do come to, if you haven't already, to read the book Victor's Adventures in Spain, Las Aventuras de Victor in España, as you read this with all of this vocabulary in your, in your head, you're going to find it a breeze, an absolute breeze. However, you don't need to worry because it's parallel text, so the Spanish is there and also the English, which helps you translate it directly so you understand what you're reading. But it's far better to be able to read the Spanish and know what you're reading. Yeah, so this is what we're doing. We're filling in the gaps. We're building up the picture in your mind. And if you have, even if you had half of this vocab and half of these verbs in your mind, wow, you would have a large range of Spanish. So it's worthwhile doing it. Okay, so here we go. First one, we're in uh, the E's. The first one is to adore or to love. Now I'm not talking about love of a, of a, um, a partner. That's a different kind of love, okay? This is like, I adore chocolate. I love football. Football, okay? So you couldn't even pronounce it because it was it's not true. Um, so, the word for love, to love and adore is encantar, encantar. Okay, when you see that, it looks like enchant. Okay, because you can say as well, talking about, you know, using posh language, in very highbrow language, you could say, it enchants me. It enchants me. Well, that's encantar. That's where it comes from. Okay, so I adore it. Me encanta. Okay, so encantar. Next one is to switch on. Okay, now that can be to switch on anything, a light, it can be switch on a fire, it can be switch on a, a, a cooker, anything, anything, switch on, okay? Encender, encender, or encender. Now, again, we have, the good thing about all the verbs is nearly always we have a root. Sometimes it catches us on the, on the hop a little bit because it's one of these false friends, yeah? But most times, the verb gives you an idea of, of where it's going to or where it's come from. So we have a, a, an expression. Um, you, it's a certain kind of bomb called an incendiary bomb. Incendiary bomb. Well, this is the same root of this word, encender. Encender. I suppose an incendiary bomb is one that must be switched on. I might be wrong. I'm not a bomb expert. But, um, so to switch something on, encender or encender. So think of an incendiary bomb. Somebody has to switch that on, I suppose. Okay. Now, the next one is to find, to find. Okay. We had before to look for and now to find, which was buscar, by the way. I'm looking for a bus and a car. Do you remember that one? So to find is encontrar. Encontrar. So, again, we have a word, we have one of our posh words, which is to encounter. Now, that can be to meet somebody in English, but to encounter a friend is just to find, to come across, yeah? So it's the same, encontrar, to find. Okay? I encountered this book up in the loft, yeah? So, encontrar. Very good, these are nice and easy to remember, aren't they? Then we've got to understand, okay? Understand, and this is entender, okay? Entender, I'm gonna talk about the, the another one just in a moment. Entender is to understand. And so, how you could remember this is to say, right, I'm gonna count up. I'm going to understand this in seven, in eight, in nine, in 10, there. I understand it. Entender. I'm going to understand it in ten. Entender. Okay. Now, entender, I hear used a lot. It has a sister word, okay, sister word, yeah, because words are feminine, which is comprender. All right. Now, we have 
comprehend. So it's easy for us to, to comprehend means to understand something. Yeah. So we've got two. We've got entender and comprender. They are the same, one and the same. So you choose. Or the only reason I've got, I've got entender here is because that's the one that I hear used more. Maybe it's easier to say. I don't know. Okay. Um, interestingly, just as an aside, have you heard people say, no comprende, okay? No comprende when they don't understand. And just so you know, just to, to raise the bar a little bit, if you don't understand, you say, no comprendo, with an O on, because the O, as you've learned by looking at how to conjugate verbs from with all of the information we've given you from Lightspeed Spanish, you know that it's comprendo, right? O, when you talk about yourself. So you say, no comprendo. If you say, no comprende, the person that you're talking to thinks that you were saying you don't understand. And that's quite confusing. If you're trying to talk in Spanish and you say to a Spanish speaker, uh, you don't understand, they're going to be very confused. And they probably don't understand what the devil you're talking about. So, no comprendo, all right? Next one. To enter is entrar. Entrar. Well, that's, there's not much help needed there, is there? Enter, entrar. Okay, maybe you can remember entering under a, under an arch. That just to remind you that it's an AR verb, so entrar. Okay, under the arch. Okay, and then the last one is to write. To write. Okay, and the verb is escribir. Escribir. Now, again, we have a word which is scribe okay and i actually think we have a verb to scribe as well but scribe is somebody who used to write you know i think they used them in the egyptian times for example my scribe i mean in old english so escribir is to write and scribes write so that's if you wanted somebody to write get a scribe you want to write something? Get a scribe. Escribir. Right, so there you are. Now then, let's check out and see how you've done. First one. Encantar. Encantar. What does that mean? To love, to adore. Okay? Remember, it's not about people in that respect of like a relationship. It's just chocolate. It's football. It's whatever. Okay, then we've got Encender, encender or encender. Okay, you might be thinking of the word incendiary. And so it's it's to switch on. It's to switch on. Mm -hmm. Or to light, actually, you know, a flame or something. It would be the same. Next one, encontrar, encontrar to encounter, which in colloquial English would be to find, or the more common English, I should say, not colloquial, to find. So, encontrar, to find, to encounter. Okay, next one, entender. I'm going, in 10, I'm going to understand it. In, not in 7, not in 8, not in 9, but entender. Entender, to understand, and its sister word, comprender. Can remember, no comprendo. Next one, entrar, entrar. To enter, it's the same, isn't it, really? Enter under an arch, to remember that it's ar. Or maybe not to enter into a pirate, because that just creates too many strange visuals. So, uh, and the last one, escribir, escribir. To use a scribe to write. Well done, there you are. So, I'll see you in audio and video number six. We're still in the E's. Hasta luego, chicos. Hasta pronto. Adios.